G'day everyone. Um, before I start anything, sorry for that last crappy video. I don't know what I've done, and hopefully this one won't turn out crappy either. When I play them back, they look alright, but when I've been putting them on YouTube, they're crappy. So sorry. <laughs> Unbelievable. I just looked at one before and I was like, eek, what have I done? Someone might be able to give me some pointers. But uh, part three, the old 109 build, um, if you can see it, was crappy. One thing I did forget to say about this last time was, um, look at the box art. That's awesome. It does look like we've got a Spitfire shooting a Spitfire, but I think they're coming in to, to attack some Heinkels. Um, this guy's sort of looking around. I like it. I like it. But uh, I've been busy. Um, we haven't had much work on. We've had some pretty bad floods here in Tasmania. Um, a couple of people have died and Port of Devonport's closed and major infrastructure damage up the north end of the island. Um, but uh, the weather's been pretty miserable. Um, you know, oh, not so long ago we'll, we'll be in a bit of a drought, but things are better now. So, um, yeah, I've been busy. I, um, Got some work done. The wing fit wasn't really good as you can see. Um, but I got the cockpit built, detailed up, painted, washed, dry brushed. This other side here I'm very, very happy with. It came up very well. Um, Just enough detail to make it look good. Um, I got all the control services that I wanted done. Done. Um, just had a bit of a cut and shut, but um, I was pretty happy the way that these will. Out which one's gonna go where. Um, I'm pretty happy the way these will be posed downwards. So these flaps be down, these ones and they'll have the rudder kinked around a little bit, can it be open? Um, one other thing I did notice with this airfix kit. That's the, uh, before I go any further, um, that's the radiator panels I made with that mesh and I put a bit of a wash in there after I painted it. Um, and these will come over the top. Um, oops, the daisy. These will come over the, the top this way, roughly. Um, and will show some sort of type of effect down inside of it. One glaring issue that I've sort of just noticed looking at a few things, um, I knew it'd have it is the nose area. Um, the I've got to cut another vent out through here from the radiator panel, and have a look at this little door thing. So. That's going to take a little bit of work. Um, got the wheels, the landing, um, landing gear done, painted, cleaned up, painted with the RLM Mo2 grey and washed. Um, both of those are done. And the, oops, the daisy, the instrument panel is done. Not 
didn't come up as well as what I thought. Um, I just temporarily super glued the wheels onto this so I can paint them. I trimmed that hub thing down we're talking about, um, and I'll be painting the wheels up with that. Um, and the cockpit tub is slowly um, coming together. That's had the coat of RLM02 and washed up. Um, just got to finish putting the foot controls in there. But once now, this will. Well, I hope this is all working because I'm getting really, really frustrated with the camera. But um, if you can sort of see that, I hope it's coming through. The extra work that I put into it, people, people say, oh, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. There's no extra work really. Once you get going, then adding um, photo etch or resin. Um, and I saved myself enough doing this to make the kit look half decent. It's not going to be a showstopper. Um, but I know I've done it. And. <clears throat> Um, I'm quite impressed, I don't want to go pissing in my own pocket, sorry the swear word, um, but I'm just happy that things, my building's getting a little bit better. Um, these videos I've been doing have sort of got me to push myself a little bit more than what I normally would and, well not push myself, but learning other techniques from other guys that I've read about and, 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 um, done a few things that I've read and watched and stuff. The other thing I did do too, uh, probably hard to notice, I thinned down the original kit, um, the uh, landing gear doors, um, and the best one I found with that, and probably a really useful tool to have is some wooden toothpicks, but what I actually did was that I... Um, Got some tape, I double folded the tape over on itself, stuck it to the toothpick, then put my landing gear on there so it wouldn't move, and then I used a sanding stick and I had a flat surface and I, I thinned them considerably down a long way, like they're a lot more in a scale now than what they were, like they I, I, I took a lot of, oh, I didn't take a lot of work, just got to be careful, you make sure you keep the the sanding area flat, but um, it was um, really one thing that improved the look of the model as it will now, because the doors aren't, um, I think I've got the old ones here, they're like, um, this is the model's up version, but you could probably see that they were quite thick. Um, so. Um, just doing those little things help, and um, I'll do a demonstration with that when we work on another kit. I'm sort of just getting a few techniques together here at the moment. Um, so we'll make some uh, seat belts up. We'll go into here, uh, and the way we'll make the seat belts up is just with uh, the cut the, sh the um, lead foil. I kept this one. I haven't tried this. Is not wine bottle, but it's sort of like, I think it might have been off a coffee or a coffee can or what else, Milo, if you guys have Milo. Um, and I just put them in a little plastic bag just to stop them from getting um, covered in crap. The, the, um, Big move for me this weekend is how we celebrate the Queen's birthday um, here in the Commonwealth of Australia. Uh, will probably be the weekend and I'll be moving a few things around. Um, and um, so I probably won't be able to get much more done on this. I, I would like to get a, f a few assemblies put together. Um, the only couple of other issues that I've got that we're going to have to look at, and this is where we'll use the perfect putty 
but once I get the fuselage halves together, um, we will. The way I assembled this kit too, which I forgot to mention, um, I glued the top half of the wings on first to try to reduce the gap, and then I glued the bottom half of the wings on. Uh, but the result was that there's still a noticeable gap there. Um, I will, in one of the videos earlier, we used lot of sheet styrene. Uh, I'll fill that up with a piece of uh, plastic. This one I'll get away with a bit of plastic putty. There's a bit of a ledge there, but I'm not going to. I don't think. I don't think I'm, I'm going to get it um, without wrecking too much of the raised panel lines and the rivets. Um, Another thing I could see almost see straight away, which I didn't sort of um, dry fit, but I'll have to because it's still attached to the sprue framework, is the engine cowling. Um, I could just sort of see there's a bit of a mis mismatch. But if worse comes to worse, we can sort of build this up with a little piece of styrene strip. Um, and then once that all gets done, we can. Um, sort of uh, work on it from there. Um, I'll just grab these other parts out and I'll have a look while I've got a bit of spare video time. Right, um, I'll just take the fuse lives halves together. Um, I knocked off that tarf end but it was only just sitting there anyway. And I put the engine cowling on and I was right about one side, not going to be quite um, we want to sort of keep this as flush as we can at the front. We want to keep it flush there, but there's going to be a gap on one side where the moulding is going to be a bit short. So, what we might have to look at doing is, um, is I reckon to fill that gap in, we might have to get some styrene strip and and sort of glue into there and build that area up. It's going to be pretty important. We want a nice fit around there because the, um, the cowling is going to be a focal point too, especially burning the yellow. And that's another colour that I'm not really confident in spraying. I've, I've never had... I've used live colour and then I've got some Tamiya flat yellow. I might try that but then um, I might also try painting the area white first so um, yeah we'll see what it looks like um, once I get it together um, I'll use the plastic putty and I'll do a video on that I know this this I didn't want this to go for very long this video series but um, I sort of want to show you how the plastic putty is very good for for um, doing these older kits with the raised panel lines because when you put the plastic putty in and let it dry you can use a damp and uh, q-tip cotton bud and actually sort of wipe it without sanding and, and, and uh, it's very very good so I'll do a demonstration of that because um, I find that uh, plastic putty on these older kits because even if you do sand them up you know mask them either side it's just in some parts it's, it's nearly impossible um, but where the plastic putty is, is um, piece better, and yeah, the, this is where the these will sit down um, in the flaps down position. Um, my tail section ones will do the same. So um, I think it's going to look not too bad on the runway. But that's about it, and um, got a new coffee cup just before I go. Heisenberg. Um, I'm sorry, I apologise for the crappy video before. Hopefully, this one will come out a little bit better. Um, be safe, guys. Model hard. Keep up the good work. Um, yeah, and uh, we'll see you in the next video, and hopefully, we have a bit more construction done. Cheers.